In this episode of Sailing Nanji, we navigate through a shallow reef and anchor in a stunning bay inside the Morovo Lagoon. Benita sails us through a tight reef passage and we sail directly into a storm. Surviving and arriving to our destination, I spear a silly barracuda. Fish are everywhere. The sea was red with snapper. At this. This stunning anchorage was situated on the inside of Matiu Island, bordering the edge of Morovo Lagoon. A beautiful place to relax for a night or two. Exercise and fitness has always been a big part of my life and since living on Nanji, I seize any opportunity I can to get sweaty. What better place than on the bow of Nanji in our own sheltered bay? You look like a tomato. <laughs> Half an hour of bow workout. This is the face of accomplishment. Well done. <laughs> While Bonita was becoming a tomato, Mali and me take the time to have a little boy's adventure on land. There are not many beaches in the Solomons as the islands are mainly rock, so Mali goes jungle running. Mali was bred and born to hunt and kill coconuts. Get him! Get that coconut! Get him! He likes to go sniffing and runs and disappears into the scrub, but comes flying back when whistled. Good boy. And yet. Is that a crocodile? Is that a crocodile? Log or a croc? Log or a croc? It's a croc. Just preparing Nanji to leave. We're in uh, Morovo Lagoon and we're heading to Noro. Uh, we could choose to go through the lagoon or around the outside, but we have wind and um, we want to get there as fast as we can. So uh, we'll be able to sail overnight if we go around the outside. Nothing to hit out there. So yeah, we should uh, arrive in Noro tomorrow afternoon. Hopefully this wind sticks around. It's good. Just sailing through a really skinny passage at the moment. Uh, the wind's basically on our beam. Uh, we're hugging the southern side and we're just gonna get pushed across to the northern side. Just hugging this reef, which feels really bizarre. <laughs> just behind the lee of the island, so we've run out of wind. We've got a little bit of breeze still. We're still moving, so just keep going gently, gently. Once we're out the other side, we'll be in the open ocean, so we'll have lots of wind then, but right now we're struggling. Nearly throw, Skip. Nearly throw. There's just this reef
We've just come through the pass. We're just gonna hug this island as we go down because right now we're in 200 meters of water and the island's right there. Pretty trippy. There's our friend Farah. Well, on our starboard side, we're just going to try to sneak up in front of it and use the wind to blow up the coast. <laughs> Squirrel hopping. Uh, it's a game of cat and mouse with wind in the Solomons. We were forecasted to have easterly winds and we had a, had a southerly all morning. And yeah. Oh, we've got a big black cloud up ahead here. Just try to alter course. Hopefully we can skim up the inside of it here. With the weather looking to change for the worst, we took the time to reef down the main and fill our bellies with some roast pumpkin sushi. Storms in the Solomons could last 20 minutes or hours, so we prepared for the worst. About to get a squall, hey? Yeah, yep. Uh, got some, the waves have started um, banging into each other, so I'm thinking we're gonna get hit by some wind from the other direction, so just uh, keeping the dog Marley safe. The wind dropped out to nothing as we sit with flapping sails, waiting for what this weather front was going to deliver. Usually if there is wind before the rain, it indicates the weather will pass quickly. But when the rain comes before the wind, the weather system could be around for hours or days. Mm. Don't know whether we've just put us in an absolute mess. <laughs> it doesn't feel right, does it? It feels like it should be really windy or something. Yeah, it's 15 knots, but the ocean's pretty smooth. It's just so wet. Everything's dark and gloomy too, which just adds to it. But, whoop, some wind in there, buddy. It was predicted about two and a half mil of rain. I reckon we've had about two inches. <laughs> It feels like it's calming down, doesn't it? Oh, the wind's sorted itself out, yeah. Might get Rob Dog on the case again in a sec. last night had um, probably 10 to 15 knots and then all day today. I'm not sure where Farah is and our friends, uh, we've lost them on the horizon this morning. So. We fanged them off. Yeah. We're so serious, Mali. Yeah, you come over. The man's just, he's paddled four hours from his village to come and show us his wood cut. It's amazing. Wow. I like the shot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, same same as black ebony. Ebony wood? I know. Yes. This one is a steak one. Yes. The other one is the rolling wood. The other one is the wasa. 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 Yes. Wasa. Ah. Give me 100 Solomon and I, I want to trade half. 100 half and trade half, okay? Trade. trade. Well, what would you like for trade? Memory card? No. Memory card? SD card? Yeah, we have memory cards. Don't we? Oh, like a... USB? A, a USB? Yes, we can load a... A, 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 a flash drive or a yeah, small... flash drive. Flash, flash drive? drive or how many gig? 16 gig. 16? Along with some cash, 
The 16 gig USB was the deal maker and we now had another gift for visiting family. Benita's just cleaning out the fridge and she gave me some food scraps to chuck over the side. So I just quickly chucked over the side and there's a massive barracuda just hanging on Nanji. So I'm going to jump in and try to nail him because barracuda tastes really good we just found out. You can't eat it in Australia because it has cicatera on the east coast but here there's no cicatera. And when we shot that one the other day, it tasted awesome. So hopefully I can come back in five minutes with some barracuda. Barracuda, don't come back if you don't get him. Go, go, go. Got him? Nailed him. Mum and Dad are going to be eating like kings and queens! Barracuda! His teeth are bigger than yours, buddy. Eehoo! Stoked! He would have put up a hell fight. Glad I nailed him right in the brain. <laughs> okay, you coming? Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Marley and I are out exploring, uh, getting some fresh air. Uh, the, the people here are pretty scared of Marley, so I'm just trying to stay away from everyone and cross the road, make sure no one has to be near him, because they're quite jumpy and scared of him. So, yeah, scared of Marley. <laughs> That's a funny thing, isn't it? Bit hot today. <laughs> what are you eating? <laughs> Welcome. We've been away for quite some time from any sort of food, any sort of Western food, anyway. And so I just had to go and have a pig out. So I've got some bread and some chips. Chips hanger. <laughs> you do backflips. You do backflips. Yeah? Come show me. Huh? <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> that was so good. Wow! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Do you guys play sport? Sport? Yeah, what? Soccer? soccer. You good at it? Thank you. That's okay. I love the beauty of Marovo. Coming up next on Selling Nanji. We experience our first monsoon, we are family visit from Australia and take them on a couple of fishing trips that will not be forgotten. Who caught the biggest, I wonder? I <laughs> grip that tail! And the beaches. Our videos are only made possible because of our patrons, the Sailing Nanji family. Become a patron to help keep us frothing and get Nanji further around the world. Honey, say